Beach House, Space Song, Guitar Tabs, Guitar Lesson. Okay, so we'll have this in a standard tuning here. Uh, start with just kind of like the basic chords of the like the intro and the verse. Uh, we'll start with the E flat, so 6A, 8 on the DGB. All right, move to a C minor, 3A, 5 on the D and G with the 4B. F minor, so bar the ones, three on the A and D. And then kick it up to a B flat. So just bar the six, eight on the A and D, seven on the G. And for the chorus chords and like the outro chorus, uh, a few more chords. So we'll start with the E flat again, the six with the eights. Then we move to a G minor, so bar the threes, five on the A and D. And then we kind of start this series of uh, some closer together chords. Uh, C minor, which we sing to 3A, 5D, and G with the 4B. And then here, we could just grab, we could keep it moving, grab the B flat instead of over here, we could just do out the 1A, 3 on the D, G, B. Right, because we're going to want to go to the F minor after that, so bar in the ones, 3 on the A and D. And then we're going to do an A flat or G sharp here at the barring the fours, six on the A and D, five on the G. All right, into the uh, cool slide riff. Um, start, keep it all on the B string. I kind of like it there. Uh, we'll be on the eighth fret. Hit it, let it ring. Then we'll slide the nine to eight to six. And then we hit the six back up to the eight. And the end of the first time through, we basically take the six to four, four back to six. And then we kind of start it over, do our eight, nine to eight to six, six back to eight. All right, and we end it the second time through by sliding that six to four, but then we go four to three, start it over, and we go all through the whole thing again, but at the end, uh, when we get to our six to four to three, we just come to four and leave it there. And now if you're really bold and, uh, you know, want to try to keep up with the machine, um, we're, we can mimic like what the uh, sequencer is doing, the, uh, you know, synth arpeggio. And, um, you know, this would take some practice for sure to like get it all down. Uh, but I kind of cheat a little bit. I just do a capo on the eighth fret. It helps a bit because we can use some more like open strings and not have to be like all over the place. Uh, unless maybe you want to do some tapping or something. But uh, for this first spot, we're picking through just like big extended versions of the chords. Um, so this is like an E flat thing going on here. And basically we'll do the 11 E 10 A, have the eights with the capo on the D, G, B. And then we'll go 11 B, 11 high E to the 15. Okay, and you crank through that twice. And uh, now we move off to like the C minor. So capo's holding the A on the low E. And then we'll just kind of do like this E minor look to it where we do like the tens on the A and D. Then we'll have a eight on the B and G held by the capo, eight on the high E held by the capo. And then we do our 11 to 15 on the high E again. All right, and now this next one, it's like a F minor. And there might be another form to do this, but for me, it's just a little simpler just to do it like this. So we just kind of make a really high voiced F minor just up here past the 12. So we're just barring the 13s. 15 on the A and D, pick all the way down through it. Okay, and then we just do 15, 16 high E. All right, and now we need to come off to, uh, it's this uh, same B flat thing going on. Um, we're gonna start it here though at the 10 on the low E, and then we uh, do the eight with the capo on the D. 12, 15 on the D. And then just kind of let the pinky come down and bar the 15 on the G and B. 
and then hit the 13 high E. 